Olamide, I noticed you have not been to the farm in recent times. How do you expect the family to feed knowing fully well that your wife is pregnant and can't farm? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually create about 1,000 different images simultaneously without changing it. So this is about $400, um, this is about $400 if I'm not mistaken. And I just withdrew this for the weekend. And this is the revenue I got to earn from YouTube AdSense. You remember I showed you in my previous video that we got to make um, somewhere around $260 in our first month. And then the subsequent month, we also were able to make um, around $300. And then I told myself, you know what, why not just pour myself and withdraw $400 for the weekend and just, you know, enjoy something. And if you're in Nigeria, this is about um, 600,000 naira right now. Four hundred dollars, six hundred thousand naira, and this is passive income that you can make every single month from YouTube, from AdSense. Every twenty-first of the month, your account get credited. Now, how do you do this? It's simple. YouTube automation. Now, I've been able to show you again and again and again, and it's plain in my screen how I'm able to generate over one million views on YouTube in twenty-eight days. And you cannot you cannot generate one million views on YouTube and not be able to make at least one thousand dollars every month from YouTube. All right, AdSense. Now, in my previous video, I get to share little tips here and there how you can actually make this money. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can generate images, how you can actually create animated African folk tales, and how this can actually change your life. Or you can also choose to focus on different niche superheroes. There are a lot of people interested in watching superheroes movies. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually create about 1,000 different images simultaneously without changing it. Now, it's very easy, it's very straight to the point. Now, I'm going to be showing you that in this video, but chances are that oftentimes YouTube videos is just 15 minutes long, so long, and you can watch it and implement the strategies and get to do what you want to do, but it actually takes you longer. If you want your journey to be lesser, you want to start doing this in, say, in the next two weeks or so, you can just hit me up in the DM, all right? You can just drop me a message in the comment section and I'm going to send you a link where you join my personal class and it's just fifty dollars and then with an investment of fifty dollars you get to change your life forever i would hold your hand step by step and show you how this works without further ado let's hop right in now usually a lot of people have challenges with having to create images because they have to start afresh create one create two create three but in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can create multiple pictures in this tutorial um and the second thing is that i'm going to show you how you can actually make your pictures have some form of motion in them um that means turning your images into a, a video also i'm going to be showing you also how you can actually make your characters speak meaning that your characters can actually talk you know and then their mouth would move in the direction of the speech they are saying so without further ado let's hop right in so the first thing i want to do is that we're going to ask chat, chat gpt to give us a prompt i'm going to enter a prompt rather and ask chat gpt to create an african folk tale story for us um, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try as much as possible to speed up the process. I'm assuming that you already know how this works. Um, I think what you really need to learn is how to make, how to generate one about one thousand images. So I'm just gonna quickly enter that here. All right. So I asked ChatGPT to create a, 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 a an African folktale story for me. So I said, create an African folktale about a young lady in Nigerian Yoruba land who was born with a horse leg and suffered discrimination. It has successfully created the folk tale, but that is not where we're headed to, all right? But what we're headed to is how we can actually generate images from this. So the next prompt I want to enter is very important, and you need to take note of how I get to enter this prompt. So I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to say create different things for the story you created and attach prompt or rather attach image cinematic image generation prompt for about 1,000 scenes. Now, I know you don't need 1,000 scenes, right? 1,000 images, but the point is just creating a lot of images so you can have an array of images to pick from. 
one thousand scenes represented pictorially. Then we'll let it run and see what it actually gives us. So after it created the whole prompt for me, the next thing I did was that I told him to give me about 1000 image prompt for the same images which it went on to do for me. So for the first scene, it created one, two, three, four prompt. For the second scene, it also created one, two, three, four prompt. So all you have to do is to copy each of these prompt and then you get to do what you want to do with it, all right? And then you get to generate your image. Now, depending on what uh, AI you're using to generate your image, um, I'm just gonna stick with, uh, <clears throat> Let me see. Um, there are a couple of um, AI that I use for generating my images. I used uh, I use um, Binge AI. I use you know Leonardo. So depending on what you're choosing to use, so let's stick with Leonardo in this case. So I'm just gonna come here and paste, all right, the prompt that it generated for me. One of the prompts, and then I'm gonna click on generate. I hope I've not exhausted my coin for the day. I haven't. So it's currently generating our prompt for us. So all we'll do right now is to just wait for it and see what it gets to gen generate for us. So as you can see, it just created that image for us of Olubiri with a horse leg looking like this. So you can see, all you have to do is to pick which you want. So I'm just gonna click on this. For me, which seems more realistic because she is currently standing on a horse leg. Um, so I'm just gonna click on download this image um after clicking on download download this image the next thing i want to do is uh i'm going to go to runway app which is the first thing i told mm -hmm. you I'll sh i will show you first i've been able to show you how you can generate multiple prompt for generating a thousand images the next thing is how to actually turn this image add a little bit of motion to this image i'm just going to come here and click on i'm currently on the runway app the gen 2 of the runway app usually when you come on it um uh, on on microsoft or your chrome browser usually it will look somewhere something like this this is how it will look like when you come on it um then you get to sign in all if you have an account already or you get you got to sign all create an account or just log in using your gmail so you want to come here and click on try gen 2 in runway not gen 2 for ios not gen 2 just try try run run to gen 2 in wrong way so that's that's what's going to what is going to bring out for you so this is what it will look like when you get to create your image so i'm just going to click on select it's going to ask me to upload my image which i will do so i'm just going to come here and select the image which we generated earlier all right you're going to allow it to load give it some time to load and then it's downloading so the next thing you want to do is upload this image so it's saying Describe your shot. Use camera control and motion brush for more precision. So I'm just going to say, just make the image move slightly. That's all. I'll click on generate. And it's going to be in queue. The reason why it's in queue is because we're currently using the free version of the runway AI, which means that we'll have to wait for other people who are also using the same um ai so i'm just gonna wait and see it load and then would we'll come back and see what it gives all right so our image has been successfully generated so what we want to do is we're just going to click on this play and see what it looks like all right so we're literally seeing this together you can see she's taking a few steps with her horse leg a few steps with her horse leg this is so beautiful so this is literally how you get to like turn your images into videos this is how you get to turn your images into video you can see currently our image is moving it's beautiful right so the next thing you want to i want to show you in this video uh, which is the third skill i'm sure I'm, I'm literally compressing three videos in one is how you can actually turn your how you can actually turn your pictures or get your character characters in your picture to actually speak so they are not just going to actually just be there they're going to actually speak and you would hear them talk so what we want to do is that to do that i'm just going to come here and click on upload first of all we're using the hydra app for this you could also use the runway app all right but i just prefer the hydra app usually for this so i'm just going to come here and click on upload which means upload my image so i'm going to look through all of my downloads and pick the one i want best um so i'm just going to 
click on this papa here so I'm going to let him load for a minute now it's loaded so the next thing you want to do there are two things you can there are two ways you can use this you can either choose to upload your video um, you can upload your video and you can just come to 11 lab to actually put in your prompt and then you know download the image you want download the audio that means text to speech but we're not going to do that i would i just rather type my 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 prompt in and then just let it create for me so i'm just going to copy just to save time i'm just going to copy the prompt i entered here already and come back to hydra app and paste it here i pasted it here so the next thing you want to do is to select the voice you want to use so you can choose to use a male voice or a female voice depending so let's see what ryan sound ryan sound, sounds like if one is lucky, a solitary fantasy can totally transform one million. Beautiful. So the next thing is you click on generate your video where this picture has it will be transformed into a speaking video. And then it's your, your job is queued. Also, this is because you're using the free version. So we're just going to wait for it to finish queuing and then we're going to download our or play it and see what it looks like. All right. So our image has been successfully trans, trans, uh, transformed into a speaking text. So I want to do is play this and see what it looks like. All of my I noticed you have not been to the farm in recent times. How do you expect the family to feed knowing fully well that your wife is pregnant and can't farm? Awesome. So this is literally what it does for you. It transforms your picture into a speaking text, a speaking video. So the next thing you want to click do is click on download. You click on download so that this image can be successfully downloaded you can see it's downloaded already and that's about how you go about this so guys you feel like i gave you value for your time now is the time for you to subscribe to this video um to this channel or rather like this video and share so that more people would see all right um also hit on the notification bell so that anytime i drop a valuable video like this you'll be among the very first to get notified thank you for your time see you in my next video